So before we start this video, I just have to make a comment about my outfit. I put on this really comfortable workout jacket. I think this is the Carrie Underwood brand. It is really comfortable, but I normally don't wear anything like this. Every time I see myself, I'm like, I look like a suburban mom. And by the way, no judgment if this is you, but I look like a suburban mom that's about to go hit up Whole Foods, go to spin class, pick up her kids from soccer, and then maybe hit up Nordstrom Rack. <laughs> I will say though, it is very comfortable, so we are wearing it today. Hey guys, and welcome back to our channel. We are so glad to have you back. If you guys are new, please hit, I don't know where I'm pointing, but hit the subscribe button. We do a lot of DIY projects, organization, pantry organization, which is what we're doing today, grocery hauls, DIY stuff, you name it, we do it over here on More With Moros. But today's video is going to be a restocking our pantry video. Frank and I just got back from vacation. We had an adult trip with our friends on a cruise. I don't know what happened when we were gone, but the kids went on snack overload. I mean, they were probably missing us. They were probably snacking, that's what I do when I miss my kids. So that's probably what they were doing with us. But when we got back, I was like, okay, I have got to restock our pantry, restock our fridge. The fridge is not that bad. They just went through all the snacks. So not only show you guys everything I got to restock our pantry. I know, I got um, the food is coming, I promise. But also showing you guys how I organize everything as well. So it's only fair to show you guys a before of what our pantry looks like. I also have to do some organization because I know it looks like I have everything organized, but that only stays organized for a certain period of time. I'm just thinking I'm having a conversation with him. But it only stays like that for a period of time. And then as weeks and sometimes months go by, we're back to square one. <laughs> like We're back to having to reorganize the whole thing. So I feel like I'm gonna have to do that. I'm gonna do a little cleaning in there. But let me go ahead and show you guys what we're working with. Also, I just placed an order with Instacart. So they, I just got a notification that they are checking out, which is perfect timing because I've gotten the dishes done, laundry is going, I'm waiting, I'm ready to go, so they will be here soon with the food. We're doing good, we're doing good so far. I do want to say a huge thank you to Built Bar for sponsoring today's video. I told you guys these are my favorite protein bars now. I love them so much. Not only do they make a great snack, they're perfect for on the go, after a workout, a late night treat, and the best part is it is made out of 100% real chocolate and they are zero guilt. So I don't feel guilty for eating them. It actually tasted, I had the cookies and cream one, it actually tasted like I was biting into a candy bar. I never thought I would say that about a protein bar, but that is how amazing it was. So not only are they high in protein, but they are also gluten-free and there are no preservatives. I have been loving them so much that I've had one every single day. So of course I had to include me restocking to go into our pantry. If you guys are interested in trying them out, I have a code for you guys to get 10% off Moro's 10 and I'll leave a link down below. All right, guys, so here is the before. I know it doesn't look as bad. I know it looks Okay, but we have completely wiped out, I shouldn't say completely, because there's still some snacks, but almost completely wiped out the snacks down here. We're doing okay on little pints. We're gonna be restocking all of that today, filling our containers up. I think there's a couple back there that are empty. Actually, I think some of these need to be emptied out. I don't even know what's going on in here. I think we just kind of threw everything in here. So I'll probably take some of these bins out to reorganize and go through and our spices are also out of control. I tried to stay organized and get these little spice containers, but I never ended up finishing this. So I have the leftover ones in one of these boxes. Oh, and then a lovely trash bin full of recyclables. But I have the rest of the spices in there, so I need to do that and go through that today. Some of the stuff we've just thrown in here as well, so I'm gonna go ahead and reorganize that. Just random stuff that needs to be organized to make this look a little bit neater. So I'm gonna wait for the groceries to get here, and then we're gonna transform this pantry. We're gonna restock it, reorganize it, and probably clean it. I need to wipe down the trash can, probably mop in here, and then we'll be done. But that's the plan so far. All right, guys, so they just dropped off the order. Show you how much food we got. Oh. It actually doesn't look like that much. I feel like I ordered a ton, especially with how much it costs, but that does not look like a lot.
So I realized that most of the food that I got was just snacks. So I won't be sharing with you guys any dinner meals. We did get a few things for dinner, but a majority of what we got was to restock the kids' snacks because you guys know five kids we go through a lot of snacks and a lot of food actually as I was unloading everything Fletcher saw that I got him some of his favorite little pouches and was reaching and wanting one so I went ahead and gave it to him So before I start putting all the food away in the fridge, I went ahead and just looked through all the food, make sure nothing was expired or bad and anything that was bad or has been there in a while, I just went ahead and threw away. I've seen this question pop up every so often asking how do I know when things are expired because I do take everything out of the packaging and put them in their own designated bin so for example you guys can see on the yogurt drinks they'll have their own expiration date but usually if they don't like for example eggs they don't have their expiration date I mean they do on the actual packaging but what I end up doing is because we do go through our eggs like about every week week and a half so I know that they're still good but I'll go ahead and push the eggs that were already in there in the beginning so I will go ahead and use those first and then of course you know as those are gone then we'll start using the most recent ones um, same thing with the yogurt drinks even though they do have an expiration date on them I'll just go ahead and push those older ones back or forward I mean and then put the other ones the new ones behind it I think I saw this somewhere on TikTok. I don't know. I learned so much from TikTok, so that's probably where it's from. But I saw a video sharing if you put your fruits, and I think some veggies too, but if you put your fruits like strawberries and grapes in mason jars, they will last a lot longer. Now, you guys know I love my green savers. I've been recommending them and using them for the longest time. Um, but lately, I don't know what's been going on. They just have not been working. I probably need to change the little carbon filters, but we already have these mason jars, so I might as well go ahead and use them. So I'm putting this to the test to see how long they will last. Now, we do go through fruit a lot. Like The kids love their fruit. Um, so we might go through it sooner than it will go bad. Um, but I'm going to try this little experiment just to see if they will last a little bit longer than the green savers. And I will report back to you. And if you guys do store your fruits like this, let me know in the comments down below. Does it work for you? What other things can I put in them? Let me know because I even tried the cherry tomatoes. I don't even know if you're supposed to put tomatoes in them, but we're going to try it just to see if it will last longer. But I want to hear from you guys. Do you use this? Do you find that it works? Let me know in the comments down below.
So as I was editing and doing this voiceover last night, so it's taken me a couple days to do this voiceover, uh, Frank and I were having a discussion about organization and all the different things because he didn't even know like the spice jars. He's like, Brittany, you're the only person that I've seen do that. And I'm like, what? So then I had to show him on Pinterest, like this is an actual thing that people organize their spices. They even have like ones that go on your fridge or our magnets like he was blown away so anyways we were having this conversation he was like so i know that you like to be organized and you like to do this but do you think that it's teaching the kids anything and i was thinking and this is a good question because i was like wow i never really thought about that like i know it helps me for them just to go into the pantry they see their snack it just it keeps everything more organized i've told you guys this so many times like before the kids would just reaching the boxes throwing them back it's they're not really you know kids don't really think about that kind of stuff and then your pantry is unorganized you guys know i can't function in clutter or disorganization i just can't i can't function that way so i was thinking i wonder if it is actually teaching the kids anything maybe you know because a lot of the times the kids kids can implement their parents and what they see and maybe it will help them stay organized but then i was thinking that's not always the case because my parents weren't really organized like that. I have always been like this since a teenager. Like everything has its place. I love to organize everything. So I'm like, okay, well maybe it's not really teaching the kids anything. I don't know. What is your guys' opinion? Do you think that this could teach kids to be more organized, like implementing their parents? Um, because coming from me where my parents weren't like this and now being like this, I'm like, okay, maybe it doesn't make a difference. So I don't know. You guys will have to let me know in the comments down below. I Maybe it does. Maybe it doesn't. I have noticed with my own kids that because I am organized, they do see that. And Aria and Nolan are both very organized. Now, they are kids. They have messy rooms. They don't put everything back where they are. But I have noticed that they could be more on the organized side. But it could also just be their personality, too. <laughs> so... I don't know. I want to hear your guys' comments down below, your opinions, your thoughts. Have you noticed that your kids, if you are organized, they are more organized or vice versa? Sound off in the comments down below.
while I was organizing and restocking the pantry, I noticed that all of the dog stuff needed to be organized. Like I said, we try to keep things as organized as we can around here, but even after time, it just, you know, it just goes out the window. There wasn't really anything to throw away. I just put all of like their products and collars and everything on one basket and then the other basket is for all of their like toys and little costumes that I have for them. And I need to get some more treats. I realized as I was organizing all their stuff that I needed to restock their treats. Um, but I noticed the floor in here was so dirty. Somehow dog food got spilled everywhere. I accidentally spilled some black pepper everywhere. So behind all the air fryers are million air fryers. Um, so I went ahead and just vacuumed everything and mopped it, which speaking of which, I'm gonna need to get a new Bona mop because the lid got stuck in there somehow so I have to take the whole thing out and I can't even get the refills because it's stuck so even if I got the refills I wouldn't have been able to do them so anyway <laughs> I just need to get a new one because this is hands down my favorite mop I love my steam mop for the tile and everything but for the wood floor highly recommend Bona You can actually find all the stuff for these spice jars on Amazon, even the labels. So I will leave those links down below for you guys as well as anything and everything else that I show and mentioned in this video. But I was actually not able to fit all of my spices like I wanted to because I ran out of jars so I'll definitely be repurposing but they also come with the lids as well um, but what I ended up doing was some of the like the original spice jars have like the little lid on, that goes on it and I found that if you take that off it will fit on those jars as well so that's what I did for some of them and then I also realized that those size like the ones you guys see right now it will fit a whole bottle or jar in the new jar. Am I explaining this correctly? I feel like I'm explaining this more complicated than it needs to be. Same size and everything. Um, so if you don't care, I know a lot of people might be like, okay, what is the point in this? Okay, I can understand a lot of things. Um, it's just to make them all look more uniform and organized. Obviously, this is just for like visual aesthetic looks to it. But what I've seen is that sometimes people will organize their spices in either a drawer or in a cabinet and it helps for them to all be the same size instead of all different various sizes so I did want to mention that as well so if you like the look of them like I do then I would definitely check them out in the links down below if you don't care then it's fine either way but um I did have to use my funnel, so it, this kit did come with a funnel as well, so it helps just transfer all of those spices, and I actually use that funnel whenever I am putting like my greens, like anything powdered into like a water bottle, so I've like repurposed it for other things as well. Um, but then Nolan wanted to help me, which was super sweet. He is always wanting to help me. He's always curious about all the different things that I'm doing, so I thought it was really sweet that he wanted to chip in and help. He is seriously the sweetest and the best helper ever. All right, guys, so that is gonna be it for this restocking our fridge and pantry and organizational video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. And I also hope that these videos help you in any kind of way. When I'm doing these videos, I'm always like wondering, is this actually you know, helping somebody? Or are they actually learning something from me? So if there's any way that these videos help you or if you just love to watch them, give this video a thumbs up. And if you are new here and you like this kind of content, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. We would love to have you guys here for not only these kind of videos, but for our projects and DIYs and also cleaning videos, birthday preparation videos. We do so many different kind of videos. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I just wanna let you guys know that I appreciate you, I love you, and we will see you in our next video. Bye guys. And don't forget to check out Built Bars, you guys. I will leave that link again down below. Use our code MOROS10 for 10% off. I promise you guys, you guys will not regret trying them.